Welcome to the Brant and Sherry Oddcast, sponsored by America's Christian Credit Union. To order Brant's latest book, Life is Hard, God is Good, Let's Dance, or to find out more about the show, go to BrantHanson.com. It's a couple pretty good tips for Election Day. Number one, if at all possible, vote as early as you possibly can. Okay. That is smart. Mm -hmm. For any election. Mm Mm-hmm. On election day, that way you can be obnoxious about how I voted. Yeah, you yeah, yet. with your little sticker and yeah, stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The second one was I read this said if your election official hooks you up to a machine via a needle in your arm, you are actually donating blood. Okay, yeah, so keep that in mind, everyone. Keep yeah, that's it in good. mind, everybody. <laughs> Here's a reminder, and this is something we talked about a lot, but hey, today is a great time to talk about this. You can outsource your worries to God, you give them to Him. And if it's election-based or for our country, that's, that's a legit thing to be concerned about. I get that. But we don't need to be anxious. And so what we're told to do explicitly is to cast our cares on him because he cares for us. If we're casting them on him, they don't stay with us, right? So we're actually giving them to him. He can handle it. I can't. I just can't. He can. So I'm going to do that, and then I'm going to thank him for what he's done. That's what we're told to do. Outsource the worry to God. Nothing is more important than our annual Christmas pageant. The pageant is sacred. But this year... The Hermans are absolutely the worst kids in the history of the world. This is going to be a real disaster. From the creators of Jesus Revolution and directed by Dallas Jenkins, the creator of The Chosen, comes the best Christmas pageant ever. A hilarious, feel-good Christmas classic in the making. Now that's a pageant I'd actually like to see. The best Christmas pageant ever in theaters this Friday. Rated PG. Parental guidance suggested. For something completely different, we have breaking animal news. Mm, Okay. Animals are out there doing stuff. This is so interesting. The Seattle Times Mm -hmm. had an article about T-Rexes. Okay. And the headline says, T-Rexes may have been smarter than you think. (laughs) I don't know that I was... Okay, but the byline, so it Uh says who the reporter is. Uh Uh-huh. Guy named Dino. Get out of here. Are you serious? Some like Dino Grandoni. His last name, <laughs> D-I-N-O. And yeah, I bet you he doesn't even bring that up in the article. T-Rex is maybe smarter than you think. And really, there's an Dino? article in the Seattle paper <laughs> written by Dino. Just being brutally honest here, uh, we don't have a mentally fit nation. No. We have a mental health crisis, actually. And, and I think 2020 made it a lo- after that and made it a lot worse. Would you agree or no? You think I don't we know. Were I think, already... it's, I think the, it was there. Yeah. Um, yeah. And it's just maybe gotten more obvious. Mm, okay. Yeah. But we're not healthy and, uh, and we're having an election. Mm-hmm. So this is what you get. You get a lot of stress and anxiety and fear and it can even spread to people who are generally healthy. Mm-hmm. And I would say, don't beat yourself up for that if that's you. Uh, but But do tell God what you're concerned about. Be honest. Mm -hmm. Like, I'm concerned about this or that or that. And tell him. And then thank him for all he has done in your life. This is the way we are told that we will experience God's peace. You do that. You tell him really honest. Get honest. And uh, And then thank him for all he's done. Huh. So this was in the news just now. Uh, Scientists now think there's a black hole in Omega Centauri. Now, follow me with this. It's a star (laughs) cluster just outside the Milky Way, which is our galaxy. Mm -hmm. We apparently have one in the center of the Milky Way, but they say this one's actually closer to us because where we're positioned. Sure, of course. And the reason I mention it is because I kind of want to go there. To the black hole of Centauri? Yeah, I don't know. No particular reason. <laughs> it seems it just like it just good. has a little more peace. <laughs> Somehow the black hole of Centauri is a certain, I don't know. Tranquility. Yeah, tranquility. <laughs> so thanks for listening to the podcast as always. We're really honored. And it's really weird because as you may know, you probably know, like a lot of the stuff that we do is from our radio show. Mm-hmm. So it's it's taken and put on Christian music stations cross country. And it goes in between these songs. And we have to record it, therefore, in advance because it's not on at a set time. Right. It, might, it might be an afternoon show here, a morning show there. Mm-hmm. And we have to record it in advance. But we know with the election, 
that there's going to be huge news things happening. And please don't forget, because this is an important factor as well, there's time constraints. Oh, so, yeah. you know what I mean? Whatever you're doing has a time constraint of 45, 60 seconds top. You can, you know, maybe yeah. get away with a few seconds over that. But you have to say it in a very short amount of time. And this is a real dilemma, if you think about this, because of the time thing. Mm -hmm. uh, the, because... We don't know everybody's headspace anyway. Right. It's really difficult to come on a non-political station mm -hmm. the next morning mm -hmm. because you have a bunch of people who are elated mm -hmm. if you have a winner at all. We don't even know that. See, it's nothing yes. we don't know. Yes. But you have a bunch of people who are absolutely elated and a bunch of people who are devastated. That's right. So if you come on and you're like, I, I wanted to just talk about peace. Right. But then that's going to sound mm -hmm. defeatist right. to half the people mm -hmm. and the other half are going to be like, yeah, I needed to hear that. Right. So. Okay. And, the, and half are like, what do you mean? Why peace? Are you mourning? We won. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Why are yeah. You, you sound right. mournful, but yeah. we just won. Right. So shrug emoji. Yeah. Um, <laughs> <laughs> this is real tough things. We've it been talking is. about this. Yes. We've been sitting here going back and forth for quite some time off air, trying to figure out ahead of time. What to say? Yes. And, and to be sure, this is every presidential election. So every time yep. this has happened, this is what we have to do. But it's worse in this case because is, we do expect, I, I do expect violence Yes. on election night if they announce a winner and maybe mm -hmm. even if they don't. Yeah, that's fair. I think like that's in fair. Portland or something. I think that's fair to expect it everywhere yeah. by everyone right. uh, because it's just been, it, that's the that's where we're living right now. And that's, um, you know, that that's what's in the air. Yeah. And, and I don't... Um, yeah, I don't think that that's unfair to expect. And so then how do you talk about that? Yeah, so you don't want to be completely... What I would like to do is touch base with the news, touch touch base with the zeitgeist or whatever whatever's going on, mm -hmm. and then have a different take on it mm -hmm. where you quickly pivot yeah. to something that would, would be encouraging, deeply spiritually encouraging, not just yeah. like, like blandly encouraging. Like, yeah. But buck up. <laughs> buck up, buckaroo. Buck up, America. <laughs> Turn that uh -huh. frown upside down. Uh -huh. <laughs> so when you don't know, and you may be even listening to this yeah. after, like going, "Yeah, that was that was that didn't work." Yeah, yeah. You know why? Because then it, it's so difficult. I have I have been really struggling with it in in uh, personal life and in personal relationships because you know you can come off um, trying. People think you're trying not to say anything. Mm -hmm. Right. You don't want to take right. a side. I don't. <laughs> I don't want to. Win yeah, that's how they sound. If yeah. you remember, you no, I don't want to play a game. You know right, what I mean? Right, like you're playing right, a game. Right. I don't want to play the game. So right. therefore, no, I wouldn't take a right. side because the whole game I don't want to play. So when you're talking and you're in, even when you start talking about kingdom things, it's hard because if people are dialed in like that. They, you know, it's difficult. Um, they're, it's almost like they're waiting for you to say a thing to show the hand of what side you're on. That's right. That's right. You know what I mean? Right. And so then you start, I'll make it personal. I start dancing around the landmines of, oh, I don't want to say that because I don't want you to think I'm talking about that. And I don't want to say that because I don't want you to think I'm against that. And then before you know it, you aren't saying anything because. Right. That's 100 percent. <laughs> You so, know what I mean? You, you know what? Here's another problem that mm -hmm. I think I know is it's just you, you didn't say it, mm -hmm. but it's actually I might be able to give you the red meat you want, mm -hmm. and I'm not going to do it. Yes. Like and like you actually want me to make a commitment that mm -hmm. I'd be kind of like I yeah I agree with that. Yeah. I'm still not going to say that because I don't want you to. I'm not want you in that space. Right. Yes. That is we'll right. We're talking about this other stuff. That's right. And if I put you in that, then we will forever. Yeah, great. Be in that space. Great. We will forever be in that space. You got and, more of that. Yeah. Congratulations. Right. We're all affirmed. <laughs> People wanted Jesus to do that all the time. Yeah. Like, just, just affirm me, affirm us, affirm our position in front of these other people. Just yeah. tell us. And he just doesn't do it. Well, I keep thinking about more and more and more, you know, love your neighbor as yourself. Who is my neighbor? Like once we get to that question, the next sentence is there once was a man. Yeah, I have to tell a story. 
Because it's yeah. what we're not going to be able to. Okay, I can't yeah. do anything else. No, no academic debate here. Is no, be. because once you've asked that question, right. you're in a space that you, you've already justified or you're trying to justify. The Bible said that it was an attempt to justify him. So once we've gotten there, story is going to work. We have to transcend the cultural language or the cultural lenses of the day. This is a really smart and thoughtful way to use your money. Uh, America's Christian Credit Union, if you're banking right now, you may want to think about switching over to America's Christian Credit Union in some way because they have got credit cards, checking accounts, savings accounts, all their, all their, their stuff is very competitive, but they use the money for a lot of good. Yeah. We love that. America's Christian Credit Union. Anyway, if you want to know more, just go to BrantHanson.com. Now, how about this? Mm-hmm. Again, again, mm -hmm. uh, we, we talked about this before, but not enough, maybe. And that is, look, it's not it's not us denying the importance of such and such issue mm -hmm. at all, mm -hmm. not even close. Right. But but I would ask people, let us do our thing. Mm -hmm. You do your thing. Right. We're all part of the body. If you're a believer, if you're a Jesus follower, we're a part of this body. Maybe that's your thing. Mm -hmm. Like to get on the school board and do that thing yeah. or yeah. to get run for office or to help the, mm -hmm. like, okay. Yeah. Like, how about let us do our thing? Yeah. Or does everything have to be that thing? That's a, yeah. It's that's, not even acknowledging it's not important. It's, right. It is important, but that's yeah. like, yeah, all the parts of the body have an important role to play. Right. Can we be this? Or does it have to be completely usurped by your thing? Mm -hmm. And I've had some, a lot of email discussions with people that would mm -hmm. like me to mm -hmm. blah, blah, blah. I'm like, dude, just let me, let me do this. Yeah. Let me do this. Let me talk, mm -hmm. let me be like one place where people can just go at this level and talk about mm -hmm. Jesus. Mm -hmm. And it's not as a, this isn't a means to an end either, a means mm -hmm. to a political end. Right. Like we're just going straight to the thing about discipleship, mm -hmm. which that'll have repercussions down the line if that makes you feel better. Yeah. If people are discipled, we'll see a lot more justice in the world. Yeah. And a lot more mercy. Yeah. A lot more protection for the vulnerable. Yeah. So, yeah, let us let us let us do That's a, you know what? Man, that's a that's that's a really great plea. I would make that plea that you would love your brothers and sisters in a way. Uh my friend Danny uh uh Truita with a book about um being single, she lives in Australia. She she always refers to the household of God. I think I talked about it before. Mm -hmm. Like like, and she talks about it from single and married and all mm -hmm. that. That we're all in this household. Mm -hmm. But in what you're saying, I love because we're in this household together. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like you got your thing in this, but we're still in this household. Yeah. We're not all going. That's the beauty. That's why Jesus said. And they will know you're my disciples because in this household, they can look in that window and know that and see us loving each other. Yeah, right. Not with, it's not, right. we're not doing. And, res and respecting, and respecting all of that. Yes, yes. I mean, I got this burning thing in me yeah. to, to like, like get people to go, wait a second, we're, we're misunderstanding Christianity. Mm -hmm. We actually need to be followers of Jesus. Mm -hmm. However, mm -hmm. let's say, you are mm -hmm. trying to make ends meet and you got two little kids in the house and mm -hmm. you're a single mom and yeah. whatever. And I'm, I'm like, no, you need to drop it all. <laughs> and you need to find a radio gig and proclaim my thing. Drop it all. <laughs> no. That's no. not right. No. That's not, that's so you good. Got, you're like, yeah. All building each other up, encouraging mm -hmm. each other. And into, into the unity of, oh, that's that's exactly what that is. Yeah. Yeah, you keep talking because I'm going to find that scripture that's in Ephesians. Okay, good. We just noticed this other scripture. Remember, it's First Timothy chapter 2, and it starts with, I ask you to pray and give thanks for every all those in authority and then seek to live a, a quiet life. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. First Peter, or First Timothy 2, 2, yeah. I urge then, first of all, that petitions, prayers, intercession, and thanksgiving be made for all people, for kings and all those in authority, that we may live peaceful and quiet lives in all godliness and holiness. So there's something about peaceful and quiet. You can be peaceful and quiet even if you say stuff. Yeah, yeah. You still have this this spirit about you that's God's spirit. Yeah. And it, uh, it's not coercive and hateful and, and, yeah, condescending. Go ahead. Sorry. No, I love that. Um, uh, in Ephesians, it uh, starts with verse 13. 
uh, it talks about us all being built up. And it says, until we all reach unity in the faith and in the knowledge of the Son of God and become mature, attaining to the whole measure of the fullness of Christ. And then it talks about, then we'll no longer be infants tossed back and forth by the waves and blown here and there by every wind and teaching and by cunning and craftiness of people and deceitful scheming, meaning that unity and that maturity will then give us that stature where we're not like babies. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. You, it matters. Yeah. This, this, this matters. So I'm glad you said that because I could, um, I could stand some of that on my end of saying, you know what, if that person is passionate about that, that's because that's that, that's their thing, Sherry. And they don't have to be passionate about your thing. So, yeah. yeah. So um, if, if the, if the rest of what we do for the radio doesn't quite ring the bell the right way, we apologize. Um, but wow, it's tough. It it's like is. 3d chess, which I've played. Okay. And that was tough. <laughs> <laughs> that was tough, and this is tough. It is tough. That's what we're trying to say. My friend had a Star Trek edition, uh, and it was really fun, so we played it at work all the time. All right, when we get on the other side of this, just let me know if it's yeah. uh, any, if it equates. It's really fun. <laughs> the Brant and Sherry Oddcast, sponsored by America's Christian Credit Union. To find out more about the show, go to BrantHanson.com. <laughs>